Ian Johnson bowls to Colin Cowdery, who's sharing a fine opening stand with Peter Richardson in England's second innings at Trent Bridge. They've started with a 69 runs lead, and with only a day and a half to go, they're piling up those precious runs as fast as they can. Miller to Richardson. And Richardson sneaks it to leg for a single. And at the end of the day, it's 129 for no wicket. Next morning, play doesn't start till just before lunch, and Cowdery is caught by Langley off Miller with a score at 151. The skipper, Peter May, has the tricky problem of deciding just when to declare. Here's Archer bowling to Richardson, and Langley catches him too. But right now, runs are more important than wickets. Miller to Watson. And another catch by Gil Langley. England 178 for three. Ten runs later, Peter May declares, leaving the Aussies four hours to get 258 runs. It's up to the bowlers now. Lock to Burke, and the Australians soon make it clear they mean to play for a draw. Laker to McDonald. McDonald is dispatched for six, and Harvey carries on the stonewalling, but not for long. Lock has him out for three. Keith Miller's next on the list. Lock tries him out, and Miller snatches a neat one which nearly makes the boundary. It was three anyway. Now Laker tries his hand at Miller. His off spinner finds Miller LBW. Three for 41. So far, so good. But Burke and Bird stick it out valiantly, and the bowling just can't shift them. An umpire's hat is the only hard work the feelers get, and it ends in a draw after all. Disappointing, but perhaps fair. All square for Lords, and here's hoping the sun shines.